Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a deck review of the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle Deck by Maggie Wilson and illustrator Jiwa Ebenebi. Hopefully I'm saying their names right, okay? This is an amazing deck. It's 78 cards and it comes in a box that looks just like this. Okay. It flips open this way, so I'll go through it. And you slide out its inner box. Put that there. And then you have your deck of cards. Very thick, but very workable deck. Looks like the cards themselves are flexible but stiff, okay, which is good for multi use. There's the back side of the card. I'm not going to get the order all messed up just yet. I will pull a card at the end, okay? So that's what the inside of the box looks like. It's got, I think those are hearts, almost shaped like butterflies, if you can see it. I know the light's not that great. Okay, can you see it? There we go. That's on the other side. Just showing you, it's nice and thick, okay? Stick that there looks pretty and then a book so now this deck is very comprehensive I was just just going over it last night just a little bit just gonna get familiar and I love that it's got multiple components to it okay the book itself is a little over a hundred and twenty some odd thirty some odd pages yes okay um, it incorporates not just about the herb itself so for our green witches out there <laughs> Those that are herbally inclined, okay, um, for spiritual practice, magical, metaphysical, and everything, okay. Um, this is a really good um, explanation of uh, cannabis, its use over histories and shamanic culture, but it also focuses a lot too on African culture or culture that's been um, that's transcended from Africa, okay. So it's not just you know, and it blends a lot of different cultures, like a lot in this book, as well as more modern take as well, which I really appreciate. Um, you start out with the, the card index, which is this page, right? Acknowledgements in the introduction, understanding the deck, okay? All the card meanings, including it's broken down into six suits, okay? Meta Arcana, physical cannabis, oracles, integration and culture, and then connecting with the deck, okay? And then it, has, it does have a card index, which is really helpful. Very tiny writing, though. Okay. 78 cards. Okay. All right. So it gives, in the understanding, and I'm going to go ahead and briefly go over this, talks about the cannabis plant, its, its history, um, maybe some spiritual connections and ancestral a connection as well and what the purpose is especially with regards to your feminine energy okay um, connecting with this system of definition so it tell, tells you about it a little bit okay as well as the co-creation with it with using cannabis as well or at least calling on the cannabis spirit the plant spirit right um, and then it talks about the sweets, Meta Arcana is the foundation of the tarot deck. So this is their merging of the traditional tarot suite with the Meta Arcana, okay? Uh, representing major archetypes, okay, with the tarot. The physical suite, which talks about your uh, physical body and awareness to that, okay, as well as everything that's in the tangible, right? Then you have the cannabis suite, the seed suite, suit. <laughs> <laughs> understanding how you connect with the herb itself okay and then you have the oracles which go through a lot of the goddesses and orishas and voodoo queens and deities of african cultures um debuting powerful feminine and sacred masculine energy in your reading okay um and connecting to those higher dimensional energies then you have the integration suite Sweet suit. I keep saying sweet. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> 
So this is the embodiment of the wisdom and realization and revelations during the past. Okay, so it's all about the aspects of your journey. Okay, the culture suite um, can help you better understand sort of like generational curses and traumas and cycles, karmic cycles with regards to your, you know, your um, immediate surroundings, right? And all the lessons and stuff that you're supposed to learn. Okay. And then you have all the card meanings sectioned off by all those suits okay and what i love about this book is that it includes the color image of the card itself on each one okay just kind of going through all right that's all of them and let's see in the back of the book connecting to your book your deck here and everything here for your use okay and a lot of it is just pretty open. You do have some incantations and invocations if you want to develop that in with it as well. And reading for others. It's very open-minded. I love it. And then it talks about all the spreads. So you have your standard past, present, future. Okay. Then you have the chakra star. Year, round, year ahead. Um, and then just a two card under the pillow spread. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Then it does a talk about what the jumpers mean, reversals, cleansing, clearing um, the deck. And I know that's like there twice. I mean, alter card if you choose to do that. Okay. I actually like this back image too. I like how they added that. Okay. So it's really connective. This is also a deck that will really help you um, develop your intuition as well. Okay. So let's do a flip through. All right. Starting with the Meta Arcana, you have Vry, Freedom. This is like the full card. <laughs> Manifestier, take a wild guess. That's like the magician, right? Creation. Here's your High Priestess, the Witch Doctor, Wisdom. Here's your Empress, okay. And bear with, as I pronounce these, Saronia Uwa, Nurture, Your Emperor, Sarki, Stability, Aduro Sinsin, Tradition, I forget which one that is, I know it's a little bit out of order from the Tarot, but it's loosely um, inspired by Ella Bas, Ella Seppo <laughs> Union. <laughs> That would be the lovers, right? Here's your chariot. I love this card. It's so beautiful. Karasar, autonomy. Hisabi, accountability. And Karita, solitude. What a beautiful representation for the hermit. Your wheel of fortune. Arziki Dabaran, gratitude. Sat. Huh? <laughs> Clarity. <laughs> Kadamar Marwa, initiation, your hangman, right? Iku, transformation, that's your death card. Gorgeous. Ifarada, healing. Wow. Gorgeous. Itan, seduction. These cards are really thick. So it'll definitely last. Gogoro, Ego Death. Love it. That's your tower card, right? Irawo, oh, Restoration. It's your star card. There's so much you can intuitively pull from these cards. I can already, already tell, just like what's in the first couple. Your moon card, Osupa, Vision. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Orun. Joy and light. Idajo, karma. Agbaye, bliss. And then it gets into, I didn't believe that was the world. Then it gets into the next sweet, seat, uh, suit, sweet, physical. Okay. Cloud meditation. So this is really helpful for identifying what might need to be done at this time, right? For healing. Cloud meditation. Look up. 
walking meditation, just go. I'll hold these up a little bit so I can make sure they don't stick to each other. Silent retreat, silence, creation solo, solo magic, creation partnered, sex magic, animal energy, channel, glamour energy, glam, <laughs> Future love letter, I love you. It's for yourself, right? Food meditation, I can. Dance portal, let go. Gratitude rampage, it's already happened. Spirit act. Alchemy choices. Wizard Balance, Hermetic Create, make sure I get them split up here, Abracadabra Connect, Conjuring Legacy, Equalizer, higher, Highest Self, Witch Metaverse, Magic Alignment, Enchantment, Celebration, Sorcery, Revolution, and we get into our deities and our riches, etc. Oshun, Justice, Yamaya, Resurrection, Oya, Protection, Nana Baruku Essence, Mami Wata Memory, Urzuli Pay Attention, Orun Mila Great Diviner, Osusi Nature, Santa Muerte Offering, Yewa. Guidance, Osanian, Grace, Balance, Chaos, Bliss, Trust, Crystal Technology, Silicon, Truth, Aura, there's that beautiful heart, butterfly shaped heart. Codes in Nature, Miracles, Unconditional Love, Blueprint, Higher Perception, Passion, Universal Oneness, Transcend, Gateway, Vision, Divine Feminine, The Void, Intergalactic Mastery Confirmation. Omo Aloran Sing. Hood Love Community. You definitely got that Wheel of Fortune there too, in that same image. Thrive Briety Tolerance. Duro Ile Compassion. I love how there's cactus here. That's great. Lantarki Mace, a piece. Rana Rudu, loyalty. Oh, let the dog go. Guanjwani Jimai, sexuality. Uwa Aljana, beyond. Omo family, Yamoja starseed, Numo Namo change, and Mabudi key. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of variety in here, including a lot of connective cultures, right? Love it. So, okay. I'm just going to see how this deck feels and show you. Let's see, I'm getting it shuffled. <laughs> it's a little thick for me, but I can do it. And I know as, ooh, for first shuffle, not bad. All right. I'm just going to read the upright variable of this. Okay, not the reverse. Ooh, cut the deck. Interesting. All right. And we'll pull a card for everyone. All right. One more. Get it. It's starting to loosen up a bit. That's good. There's your bridge shuffle. It's a little step there. And do a side shuffle. <laughs> Try to reach around the the camera here. <laughs> already sense as working with it it'll be easier Let's see how it splits and cuts it's still a little sticky but I think it'll loosen up a bit more okay we'll do one more and it is a standard to row size okay All right Ryder Smith weight size I should specify all right, Spirit, <clears throat> for the collective, let's get a card. Oh, boy, that is a little on the thick side. I'm going to do it this way. All right, I'm just going to do the top one. Set you aside. And we have Oya Protection. All right, let's find the page she's on. These cards are not numbered, okay? or an alphabetical. All right. <clears throat> Oya, protection. Oya is the Yoruban goddess of the weather, especially of powerful storms, tornadoes, lightning, fires, and rain. Oya means wind warrior goddess. She is represented by the water buffalo and would carry the spirits of the dead to the underworld. Clairvoyance, intuition, and psychic abilities are the lessons of this card. And Oya urges you to listen to the winds of change, whether you are ready or not. Legend states that Oya can call upon death and hold it off whenever she pleases. Known as the great mother of witches, she comes to you when you feel you need to be protected. This might be when you are trying to protect or establish your business which might be riding through some choppy waves at the moment. Remember, the storm will pass and Oya will be there to gather the pieces and help you start anew if needed. All right, there you go, guys. I'm excited to integrate this bad boy soon. All right, of course, we're gonna do, we're gonna do pulls with them. We're gonna just incorporate them in whichever readings going forward, okay? If you want to see any of the other decks I work with as well, I do reviews for all of them. There is a playlist. I will be linking that here at the end here, okay? You can also just see them in the playlist. They're deck and tool reviews, all right? <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.